Next week, the 49 state senators will head back to the state capitol in Lincoln for the 2020 legislative session. The body has big issues to tackle, and reporter John Kipper is speaking with a few select state senators before the 60-day session starts. Today, he talked with the youngest senator in the unicameral, 23-year-old Julia Slama. Jenny, despite it being her first year in Lincoln, the Southeast Nebraska Conservative was outspoken last session and plans to be again on issues affecting rural Nebraskans. She says those small town constituents will be paying close attention. If the legislature doesn't get anything done this year, I think the voters will make themselves heard at the ballot box in November 2020. State Senator Julie Slama has her eye on a petition drive. She says those farmers and ranchers are tired of an action of the unicameral to reform the tax code and reduce their property taxes. If the property tax debate fails for yet another year, uh, you're going to see some rural senators, including myself, very fired up and very frustrated with this process. It passed the petition drive would force the state to reduce property taxes by 35 percent, reducing state revenue by around one billion dollars. If that happens, it would then be on the legislature to cut state services. We would have to uh, raise taxes in other areas because there are certain things that we can cut in our state government down to bare bones and there are certain things we can't. So the senator from Peru is going to Lincoln next week to work to avoid the need of the petition drive. She supports the outlines of a plan that would change the school funding formula, giving every district some amount of state aid, allowing the local governments to reduce taxes on ag land eventually lowering property taxes on residential homeowners. We're not going to undo four decades of property tax policy in one session, especially a 60-day session. So I think if we are going to make some positive progress in this session, it will have to be in a small measured step. That's not all she wants to do. In her district, sits the troubled Tecumseh State Prison. There are many ways in which having the prison be in Tecumseh has put Johnson County in a tough spot. Right now when there's a riot or other violent incidents at the prison, Johnson County is on the hook for over $225,000 in legal fees. Her bill would cut that in half, which she thinks would be crucial for the small county. Those kind of liabilities are coming out of the rock budgets, they're coming out of the school budgets. Any other place where property taxes could be going in Johnson County would be going to those liabilities. And Senator Slamma will also introduce a resolution that would reprioritize flood control to the top of the Army Corps of Engineers list. She then hopes other nearby states get on board as well. Reporting in the studio, John Kipper, Free News Now.